Tonight, Charlotte County Animal Services looking for five pit bulls that attacked a man and his dogs in Port Charlotte. It happened yesterday in the area of Easy Street. That guy is hospitalized. He's been out tonight, but tonight he's also sharing his story with just one reporter in Southwest Florida. Four in your corner, Sam Sosa, live at Charlotte County Animal Control with this incredible story. Sam. Patrick, the search is on for these dogs that left a man torn up, certainly shaken up. And he says that if it wasn't for his neighbor, he might not even be alive right now. I have never been through such an experience in my life. James Truck and Broad. That's enough, guys. Come on. And his five little dogs viciously attacked Monday. He says by five pit bulls who jumped this fence. Injuries on his leg mark where the dogs latched on to him. They had two of my dogs over here and the other three had me. I opened the gate and when I looked that way, there was three more. The dogs charging at neighbor Patty Rivera too before they made their way over to James Yard where his pets were roaming freely. I told my husband, we got to go save the dolls, you know. After Patty was attacked, she and her husband heard all the commotion coming from their neighbor's house. Her husband went and grabbed this machete here, leaped over this fence and started beating the dogs with the machete. The dogs were so vicious, even after being hit multiple times, they just kept on coming. You know, thank God he came. That's all I can say. Now neighbors are on edge, hoping someone comes forward and tells authorities who owns the dogs. That's what my biggest fear is. Some child is going to get mauled by this pack of animals. If you see these dogs reported to the Charlotte County Animal Services, they're described as a reddish brown, and then one of those dogs is black as well. I'm live in Charlotte County. Sam Sosa, Fox 4, in your corner. 